Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and today's system is from the user Texnex so a massive thank you to them in Discord for sending this in but without further ado let's get into this. So their system is called the Amorian system, Amorian system. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I've already got it in here as always there. And it sounds actually quite a cool um, thumbnail there. So it's actually still installing with us so far today. So it looks quite good actually, doesn't it? It's taking a while to download. Interesting. Okay, everyone. So let's see what we have here. Right. Let's do this. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Oh, my God. What are we looking at? Oh, my God. This is so weird. That's rather ominous, isn't it? Hey, you're fine. Okay, don't pause. It will break. Okay, right. Oh, <laughs> you're finally awake. Welcome, traveler, to my star system. I will be your guide across this place of fantasy and danger. That is a really weird looking island of soul. Zooming out. So what's that? What is that? What is this? Well, this is funky. Right. Interesting. Amarion, once upon a time, I was born and shaped all the worlds you see today. The tiny beings completely refer to me as the sun. I give light and warmth to all. Uh, the most worthy of beings such as you can directly to an island next to me to speak directly. So I'm guessing this is how you... So this is like the chair you speak to the star. So this is like a living star then? So I guess the impression I'm guessing. So the island of soul here. This is how you speak to the star. Very interesting. Okay. Very, very cool. Okay, so. Star itself. Right. Then we next up. First of the planets. Morgard. Whoa, this has like some proper custom stuff. Look at this. This is unheard of. Like actual like. Look at that. This That is like a make little volcano going on there. That's. Wow. Okay, this is insane. This is madness. Right. The closest world to me. It's a hell of a lava, ash volcanoes, and the only, the worst of the worst go to rot. It also forges the strong weaponry and tools of the land. That is very, very interesting. We have Moldar. This, no one really ever does this style of like placing objects in each other like that. Very, very unique. Wargar's moon. The surface is an ocean of pure lava with islands of solid rock. Okay. Very nice. Very interesting. Let's actually get a closer look at that, actually. So... Look at this. Let's just hide everything. But that is very, very unique, I have to say. Bonus points for that, because that's pretty cool. Okay. I like that. that. That's really, really unique. All right, next up we have Pymedia here. Whoa, the land of the pyramids. The ultra-sized pyramids that go above the atmosphere. <laughs> wow. So, the land of deserts and dryness. Pharaohs rule over kingdoms built around Uz's uh, own in giant pyramids, with much of the structures buried under the sand for those who discover. The undead and necromancy magic are bountiful here. Here, really interesting, has a moon called Grit. Tiny moon in this world flying above all the sand and uh, sand and lights in the night. Okay, nice. Cool. That's really, really unique, actually, with the pyramids coming out. It looks pretty mad. Right. Clinton. Here it is. Whoa! It's like the, yeah, it's got the police box in there as well. Like a giant castle with a lantern, little wheel on it. This is very, very bizarre. Look at that. Very, very well made. Right. So this is what, this is Kling, Clinton. A busy world of its surface entirely covered in one giant kingdom. No matter where you look, you see people uh, scurrying across the landscape. Here, education is its highest teaching. All sorts of things such as magic, alchemy, combat, history, maths, etc. That is so cool. How, how has no one ever thought to do something like this? It's got like a lantern hanging off it as well. Obviously, got the, the way he's actually built a castle out of that, that's actually really cool. Uh, has a moon queen's eye. A bright moon flying above the loud and busy surface below. Okay. I mean, look at that for a look at that for a view. <laughs> that's really cool. Alright, there you go. Put this on. Right, so. Uh, we have a barrier centre here. What's going on over here? Oh, we've missed one. Gaia. Where's Gaia? Aha, sorry, I missed that one. Right, so Gaia. So it's an Earth-like world. It's got flowers. Look at the flowers. <laughs> Spikes at the bottom. Interesting. This is the same as your own world, Earth. 
Here you get all the classics like fairies, goblins, dungeons, dragons, giants, etc. It's the perfect start for a quest or a story. King Arthur was one here once, and he even managed the knights formerly known as Ni, who are also now known as the Icky, 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 Pang Tang, Zubuin. I don't know if that's a, that's a, must be a reference or something. I do apologise, I do not know it. My favourite out of all the planets. Nice, okay. Has a moon as well. We've got Luna, Luno. The first moon... Like its sister, it used to be many magical riches and cells. It casts beautiful shine in the night sky of this land. And then secondly, we've got Lunu, the twin of Luna. Together they bring joy and awe in times as dark as the night for generations. Nice. Looking good. Very, very nicely done. So very well made so far. All right, next up, we're heading to that Barry Centre now. So Al Alanquist. This one's like another castle. Look at those sperm whales floating around it. Very strange. <laughs> A world entirely underwater, with only a few lines poking out. Huge underwater cities host mer people and other sea creatures. The dark open waters contain horrifying sea beasts such as the Kraken or Megalodons. Do you dare sail out to these seas? I've been more concerned about the uh, giant whales that actually ought to float around the planet, guarding it in a way. And they've got like a, it's like a Poseidon trident up here. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a temple. Reminds me of a Greek temple. Very cool. Um, what's this? The moon. Vostalheim. Snow. This is like a Viking version. That's the yeah. That's got to be a Viking. Um, snow plays home to Windows Yetis and the Vikings. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can easily fight through the harsh conditions here and have conquered most of the land. All while the planet's binary partner shines above. Nice. That's really cool. So we've got an asteroid belt. This strange ring of cosmic rock is the place between the rocky worlds and the much stranger gas giants. It's said that it contains a world within it um, that you can only go to in your dreams. Interesting. Is that? This one, Aris here, or what's this? Gas giant? Okay. Whoa, all the floating stuff here. Man, if you press play, this whole thing would collapse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where are we? Nice looking gas giant. Is that an atmosphere on there? I reckon there's two planets in here. There must be. Yeah, there's got to be. There's definitely an atmosphere on there, I think. Anyway, it looks good. No solid surfaces found here, just clouds and the sky were floating islands spotted across the surface. The islands stay up due to a helium-based crystal lifting the land masses around it. This base is wonderful for dragon or airship travel. Has a moon as well, Sarit here. The closest moon, it has typical colours of monochrome. And we also have this one, Skyscar. Second moon of Earth. Unlike Sorit, this moon has a strong colour of brown mixed up with white. It reminds some beings, and even myself, that's a sweet known as chocolate. Okay, lovely. Right, taking a jump out now, so we're heading to Buta. Buta. Oh, the most gorgeous gas giant in the system, at least to me. But I'm sure all the tiny things would agree. It has stripes ranging from pale pink to blue and deep purple, along with pink set of rings. Lovely. Got the moons here. Yikorus, closest moon. It's a simple copper blue rock. Uh, we got one Dario here. This world is a source of all my... Look at this. <laughs> Little tower. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Source of magic. You never know what happens there. Fish have wings, eggs grow on trees, bubbles constantly float around, and the sky, ground, water, and plants all have mixed up colours. The oceans here are also a great place for alchemy liquids. On top of that, Wondario is entirely locked and has a super inclined orbit, so you get to see the rings of the parent planet. Nice. Yeah, good view there. Very cool. Okay. Next up, we got Blyth. A moon with all its surface covered in high elevation that's coloured in many shades of blue. Very, very nice. Then we have uh, Mahmood. A world many beings ignore because the only thing interesting about it is it has coloured like dried mud. But it's my favourite moon of the whole solar system. It's not that bad. Okay. Here he is. Let's next head into this one. Uh, is this one? Which one is this one called? No name. No name. Night Wilds. I'm guessing this is Opaz, a deep blue ice giant. Far from noise and activity in the world. It only hosts one moon. Ah, uh, because we said we've selected the rocky planet that's given it the atmosphere, not the actual gas giant. I mean just look how much better gas giants would look if you could give them atmospheres. That's the one thing I ask we get in the game still, is atmospheres on gas giants. It just gives it that extra look. Which really comes really looks good. Very nice. And there's a moon as well. 
Oh, look at like the plants growing out of it. That's pretty cool. Hey, looks good. An enchanting, calm, and pretty haven. Its daytime is nearly as dark as the night of the world so far away from me. The floor that populates this place is a nice shade of blue and grows during the night. Very cool. Okay, that's a really nice cash on. I really like that. Um, but that is with the rocky planet combined with it. Right, next up we have got Shag Shagoff. Shagoff. Shagoff and it moves are twists and evil. Places I've pushed far away from everything else, but they are still orbit me with their demons and monsters. So this is from the perspective of the star itself, Dorky, and the living entity that is the star. Um, the gas giant itself is shadow black with a red stripe in the middle. There it is. Okay, first moon. This world's surface is full of chai cheese-like holes that, if you're not careful, could um, end up below the surface. What's worse, there's a giant monster lurking deep within the moon. Hmm. Spooky. Now we have this one. Sinkski. No matter where you land here, the entire floor is quicksand. Hardly anything escapes this moon once it is reached here. Okay, dokie. Uh, next up we've got this one here. Shade lands. A world of shadow. Dark clouds block whatever light reaches the moon and only the life and the only life here, all evil monsters lurking in the darkness. Plagues are also quite common here as well as horrible smells of decay. So that's a right old rotten state this is. That's what it looks like underneath. Uh, yeah, very dark. It's the abyss. Okay, that's that one. Next I went to Tranquilia here. Yeah. At last we come to the edge of my influence. We can see it's a very dark, very dark world. There it is on the menu. At last we come to the edge of my influence. Here sits a planet with an orbit of 500 years. The surface is cold, deserts made of purple sand, clouds here are blue, and I appear... Nearly as another star in the another star in the sky. Not a single soul lives here. Quite a shame, as the night sky view is as wonderful out of anything from the other worlds. Very, very cool. And notice or not, we have Dreamscape. Now, where is Dreamscape? Is that really far away? Dreamscape. This is where everyone, even me, consciousness goes when we dream. A world that isn't physically there, but mentally. People have dreams about being rich or swimming in oceans to their favourite drink or talking to a triangle with a bow tie and a top hat. Weird. Drift at a moon of dreamscape. So where is this dreamscape moon or planet then? Let's uh, try and find it. So it does exist. Oh, that's the one in the Astro Belt it was talking about earlier with this hidden dream world where everyone goes in a dream. So this, yeah, I was, I, was, I was hoping this would show up. So there it is. Oh, it's very bizarre. The world of dreams. Okay. Isn't physically here. So first up we have Drifter. A moon of the dreamscape. It's colour green as a closer moon. And lastly we've got um, this one here. Blistal. Second moon. It's more pale blue in colour and has a small ring system. Nice. Very nicely done. It seems as though we have reached the end of our tour. It's been great, but it's time for you to travel back to your own universe. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This story may be over, but there's always another that's starting. Farewell. I have to say, I like the lore. The lore and this is really interesting, actually. If we go to chart mode, it will take everything apart. <laughs> there you go. But that is very interesting design with the star. We'll navigate it manually here, but here it is. So, the eye of the star with the little island of soul that you use to communicate with the star. It's a very, it's a very ominous, like entrance to when we load this in and just had this as our screen very very bizarre uh, um i like it this is very very unique and i have to say you know the design of everything in here is well we've never seen anything like it this is a whole new type of custom system and i like that i like the book anyway fantastic stuff uh there you go pi media here this is did it on the pyramids that's cool uh what was the other one it was um was it gaia yeah gaia that's cool and the other what was the viking one was that queen's eye just the Viking one. There's the one with like the castle on it. That's that, see that one's really that's one of my favourites. So that one looks really cool. I think this is the Viking one, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's really cool. This floating island is very very unique. I really really enjoyed that. So again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Tech Snake, for sending this in. This was a very very interesting world. I liked it. Well, very interesting system. Really really interesting. So yeah, massive thank you to them. If you guys enjoyed this system, make sure to press that like button, subscribe for more, help us on the journey too. Fifty thousand subscribers as well. Let's even go for the hundred like goal as always. And yeah, that will send everybody. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.